As political leaders transverse the country in search of votes, the low turnout of Kenyans registering remains worrisome. The trend has prompted the Prime Minister Raila Odinga, Vice President Kalonzo Mustioka and Trade Minister Moses Wetangula for the upteenth time appealing for continued registration of voters. We are uh, concerned about the low turnout for voter registration and uh, we decided to once again make an appeal to Kenyans in general to turn out and register as voters uh, in the remaining few days. We want to tell the Kenyans that um, they should not bank on an extension. I'm told that the president is going to sign the um, amendment to the elections law to enable those people who have a waiting cards to register as voters. Once that is done, then effective from tomorrow, they should be able to use those cards to, to vote. With only less than one week to the closure of the voter registration exercise, and some parts of the country still registering very low turnout, it is worth finding out what really contributes to this kind of apathy. In Isili, Nairobi area, IEBC clerk Molki Salat admitted to low turnout than expected and attributed this to lack of identity cards by a huge portion of the population, which is mostly made up of the Somali community. I Most of them are alien. Yeah, hawana IDs. Wamejaribu kutafuta lakini hawapati. Yeah, that's why most of them are just actually the outcome is very low. Yeah, because they don't have IDs. Na sasa tuko na shida mingi sana. Kama ni wa Somali sisi na washida wengi, shida yetu watatizo mingi sana. And unaonekana mtu yote tu ngine unaweza pata 3 month of 4 month IDs and we are waiting of the, almost 2 years and 3 years. Nataka tuombe serikali ka hivyo tu tumpigie tubaliwe tupigie waiting card kwa kwa kura. At St. Teresa's Boys Primary Voter Registration Center in Kamukunji, the clerks were reporting moderate turnout by people to register, but however still alluding lack of full turnout to false perceptions on hazardous radiations emanating from the equipment in use. Some of the superstition that uh, the, the BVR kids, they are causing some kind of radiation, of which it's a lie, because um, people are i always afraid of the technology, the new thing, which if they do not understand it, they cannot actually apprehend and become comfortable with it. Even as IEBC increases its efforts for people to register before the exercise is closed in five days' time, in Madare area, which falls within the Stare constituency, a number of potential voters are shunning the process due to the fear of post-poll violence. This makes them prefer rural homes for registration as it is considered a safe voting zone. We have just registered now. It has taken me less than two minutes. But in their public opinion, there are issues to do with the PVR kits. So the perception is that it takes long and there are also queues. Uh, people have that perception of the post-election violence. They voted. Others perceive that the, their power of vote was taken away. Also there was violence. So they don't see the need of voting. Because out of that, others emerged up as IDPs. So they don't see the meaning of coming to vote. Even as many people still offer one excuse to another for their lack of enthusiasm in the ongoing process, a few well-informed people are not only registering but also urging other fellow Kenyans not to hesitate for posterity benefits. Well, I think the access is very important and I feel every Kenyan should come out and register so that they will be able to vote and uh, elect their leaders. It's our constitutional rights and that's why I came this morning to register. IEBC is in record as reiterating that it will not extend the registration process which is scheduled to end on December the 18th. It still remains a waiting scenario if Kenyans will rush in to register on Monday. Solomon Wery, GBS News.